Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next KCCR. It's been a few months, but that's because I couldn't figure out which game to do. That being said, as you can tell, we're going over Wasteland 2. Wasteland 2 came out yesterday. Um, I don't really know what to tell you about it. It's the father of the Fallout games, is the best way of putting it. At least the original Wasteland is. And it's been some, some years since we've uh, been getting an update to it, this being the update. I haven't actually played it yet. I did go through character creation to get a little bit of an understanding of what we're doing. Um, as always, we're going to be ignoring game ignoring gameplay settings. We're going to be ignoring um, how stuff works in the game. But generally, if you've played Fallout, even the newer ones, you get a gist of how stuff's going to work. But um, or if you played the old Wasteland. Before we do, I feel like showing you the options. It's not really relative to character creation, but I'm just going to give you a quick look. Lots of um, lots of nice stuff here. Controls, everything's bindable. You can do what you want with it. And audio, I did have to mess with for this. So, with that being said, let's uh, we got some DLC here. Let's go ahead and click new game so you can see the characters. I think that's really cool. Those birds actually look like rendered models. Okay, so you get to create four rangers. You can either create a custom one, which we will be doing, or choose from some pre-made ones. For those who don't care about a custom ranger, obviously you've got these as options, but I don't know why you would why you would do that. That being said, we're going to um, we're just going to click that and create a new custom ranger. And I'm aware that sound is uh, pretty loud. I'm actually going to go back and turn that. I'm actually going to go back and do this real quick. That was super loud for some reason and I don't know why. Actually, what sound was that? We'll do that and that and we'll do that. I don't know which one of those it was, but forgive me. Yeah, those birds look like actual models. Anywho, <clears throat> when you come in here it gives you an idea. It tells you some shit here. You start with seven points. Uh, for attributes, you get 12 skill points. Pretty straightforward things. Um, hover over any one of the things. It'll tell you in that little drop down to a bar over the skill itself. Or it'll also tell you in this window here. So, just give you a general idea of what you're looking at for skills. There's a lot of combo and depth that you can do here. <clears throat> By combo, I mean because you get four rangers, you can make a dedicated team to something. You can branch that team out. Um, it also, every little pip down here will tell you the difference and in increase if you hover over it. I find as a, a person who likes to know every little detail of what little pips do, it'll also tell you how many points it requires to take that. So, that's always interesting. For example, you can just straight up max a stat for 10, or you know, you can not. Then here is your uh, derive stats, and hovering over a stat up here will show you which one of these they correspond to. Pretty straightforward stuff, nothing super complicated, you can't really mess this up. Um, I mean, I guess you could mess it up by putting like a 1 in everything and then having a character that's, I don't know, slightly, slightly above average at everything. But, I mean, it's no, you can't really be slighted for that, it just means you're not going to excel. Alright, music. I loved it. I love that you're dedicated and you want to make um you want to make all that noise. I'm just going to do this. I'm sorry everybody. That that sound and that is is just annoying in my headphones. It's probably nowhere near as bad as it actually sounds through my headphones cuz I use earbud headphones. Forgive me. Anywho, <clears throat> over here you've got your skills. These all correspond to um well, everything that you would think they would correspond to. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I will just start with weapons because, yeah. Um, I've got three types of melee. It's melee, asshole. Shut up. I'm going to say melee. You've got bladed, blunt, and brawling. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, the one thing I do like about this is you hover over and much like the stuff over here, it just straight up tells you what, um, what it doesn't, doesn't highlight these, but it straight up tells you what, um, benefits you have as well as, uh, like over here, AP. Um, armor penetration and stuff like that. It also tells you if you've got, um, let's find sniper rifles for example, it uses expensive ammo. Um, shotguns for example, it doesn't even tell you the ammo, so you know, assume that it uses basic shitty ammo. 
We've got a lot of cool st skills over here under General Skills. We've got Animal Whisperer. Um, doesn't really tell you what that does precisely, but it does straight up fucking say something about talking to animals, or maybe getting them to follow you on stuff like that. So who knows? I'm going to attribute that sort of like um, the animal talking skill in Divinity uh, Original Sin. I imagine you might be able to recruit things you may otherwise not have. Uh, barter, self-explanatory, pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, like, all of these are straightforward. The only things that might not be is your intimidate, uh, persuasion, and whatever skills are called. Hard-ass, kiss-ass, and smart-ass. Uh, intimidate, charm, and persuasion, I'm, I'm supposing, is what those actually equate to. Other than that, everything here is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Excuse me. What you see the name, skill being named as, you can pretty much assume that that's what it does. Search and ally it'll revive down members, but field medic is, you know, the better that is, the better your stem packs and medical stuff is. So, nothing actually super complicated here. <clears throat> and you get to make four rangers, so like I said, a big, big, all over the place team. Uh, you can click next and this will pop up if you haven't spent any points saying you have unspent attribute points and are, um, are you sure you wish to proceed you can spend them when you level up later if you like it's pretty much saying you didn't spend your fucking points but don't worry they're not lost i appreciate that it allows you to continue without spending them so you don't have to feel like you have to spend that one point that you're unsure about maybe you can save it for later use uh, either way, we'll hit continue for the sake of the actual creation. Now this is where the actual creation is. Anything after this is just confirm and make the rest of the three rangers. So, we'll start with this side here. Your name can be whatever you want it to be. Um, let's see here. Penis, Nigra, because why not? Their age is interesting. They start you at 20 here, but being that I'm an old ass man, I put 28. Uh, you can do religion if you want. I'm not 110% sure what any of this actually does. And yay, my cat decided it's it's time to make noise. Now she's gonna get punched in the face. Shut up. She actually didn't get punched in the face. She just, uh, she's been having this thing for death. She desperately wants to eat my fucking seaweed. And yes, I, I legitimately mean my seaweed. I have. Snack seaweed. Uh, don't judge me, assholes. Um, as I was saying, I don't know what any of this actually does. Um, so I just choose what I am. I'm agnostic. I don't believe in any of this fucking shit. No offense to anybody. I just, whatever. I need proof of gods before I can justify my time. Anyway, smokes. Once again, this is self-explanatory. I guess it's a brand of cigarettes. I have no idea what this does in-game, though. I don't know if there's any benefits. Cons, I have no idea, so, um, I know smoke, so I'll leave it blank. You got a decent amount of ethnicities here. Um, I don't particularly know the maximum effects of them. Like I said, the game just came out yesterday for me. I, I, I don't know. Um, but being that there's a lot here, I mean, more than likely you're going to have your thing to choose from. Or if you don't want to choose, you want to be somebody, some other nationality, that's fine too. Um... Although, Native American really isn't a nationality, is it? I don't know. Either way, yeah, you got European to cover the wide range of Europe, but what are you going to do about it? Okay, so these are, these are, you got a bunch of these to choose, lol, ignore those. You got a bunch of these to choose from, but the thing that you'll end up doing is, I'm going to just click a dude real quick. You can spin this, um, I didn't know, I don't see any way to zoom out, but... I like to take snapshot here, so I say I just do that, and then take new snapshot, and it'll take a general this area, so you don't have to use like these if you don't want to, just bam, take a snapshot. There's a decent amount of options, I wish I could zoom in and show you more, but I can't. You've got, um, I don't really know what to call that, it's like a Native American sort of biker hairstyle. Um, you've got your, whatever, you've got your, uh, what the fuck is his name? The guy from, uh, Prison Break, when he got his throat slit, whatever. Um, Nothing fancy. That's a hairstyle I'm more than likely going to use. Uh, you've got this. This is very interesting. Um, it's long braids. Well, not braids, really. It's just long hair with metal bands on the end of it. I don't know what to tell you there. So I'm just going to do it at this angle and cycle through them. Um, got a lot of hats and shit like that. This is a nun top piece for the record. Um, 
We've got decent stuff here. Nothing, nothing great, nothing super fancy, but well, after all, this is wasteland, not, you know, fashion souls, so whatever. This is pretty, this is an alright hairstyle. we got a decent amount of heads. Um, let's see here. No, 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 digs. Whatever. Um, decent amount of heads. That's your face. You, you got that, that fucking change. You got that mask, but... I have a decent amount of heads here. I'll probably be using that one as it's just a straight up clean shaven face. No, no. Facial hair, no, nothing. That's pretty basic stuff. What I'm gonna do is cycle until we see this again. This jacket piece. So got a coat with like uh, some webbing on it, ammo straps, whatnot. Um, that's not a bad armor piece. Some basic shirts. You don't have... One thing I noticed, and I'm not sure how I feel about this, is um, for the male rangers, and I'll show you, I'll switch over to female ranger real quick after I just cycle through these. Um, see, so we've cycled through everything. You get a general idea of what I'm looking at. I wanted to leave it on this one. Now, packs are self-explanatory. They're these. There's a bunch of different types, but depending on the armor you have, they may look like shit or may not. For example, if you have the little coat for the dudes, then most of the packs clip through the sides, and it's really gross if you personally bug by that. Now, each pair of pants corresponds to a specific top, so like, um... <laughs> This is the pants the core these are the pants that correspond to this top. It's a pretty nice looking set of armor. I don't really know what the hell to call that. Like a samurai esque fucking I don't know. But it's pretty neat. Um skin tone self explanatory. Um you'll be like super white like I always choose. You're gonna be a black guy if you're into it. It's got some uh I'm guessing that's some facial hair right there, but I'm not entirely sure does facial hair or tattoos are just I'm old and wrinkly, who the fuck knows. You do have size, you know, a little tiny bitty itty bitty thing, and then super giant, so one, two, three, four, five. We got five sizes. What I mean, and well it doesn't show you in game, I have to attribute it to like the size of the shed in the background. And imagine that's a little further back, so imagine this is pretty fucking big, so and then the sky just changes the background for the sake of taking a snapshot. So bam. Pretty straightforward stuff, and you can export the character if you feel like saving your appearance. Um, I find that stuff like that really nice because then you can say export that character and I'm assuming you might be able to transfer that appearance to a friend if they feel like using your character for some reason. Um, which is always cool. I do that for the Sims. Let's go with the female stuff real quick. Uh, I wanted to show you... Oh yeah, that she just straight has it on. The females get a really nice coat to start with. I'm not gonna lie, kind of jelly, but what are you gonna do? You got some faces here. I wish I, you know, here, I wish I could zoom in, but you can't, so it's, it's whatever. Um, cover some hair real quick. You know, nothing... Once again, nothing super fancy, but... You've got enough going on that there's got to at least be one thing you can settle with. I mean, obviously, this is coming from me who wants to super clean as pristine-ass combed, gelled hair in the world. So needless to say, that's not going to happen. I actually do not mind that hood at all in that outfit. Um, yeah, so you've got torso. They've got a lot of the same stuff the dudes have, just, you know, created for a female's body shape. But this, I wish I had access to, like, this kind of fucking... Um, what do you want to call that? Chest piece, jacket, blip, windbreaker, I don't know. Um, they've got a lot of straight up just interesting things. They have packs as well, but those are slightly different, I think, because because women. Sure, why, why not? Let's see if we can find the bottom to this. Oh, I like those bottoms. And I'm pretty sure I have a friend who will like those bottoms as well. Um, I like the little gun holster right there. Mm, I bet that purple skirt, no, was what went with that chest piece. Let's go ahead and cycle back to those, uh, those, let's, um, oh yeah, we totally want the hoary chest piece. Um... Uh, lol, I like that. Shame you can't recolor them. But, either way, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff. Once again, you have sizes. 
So expect these are going to be remotely the same here. Sky just changes the, the background. So yeah, there, there you go. And once again, you can cycle through all of these if you feel inclined to do so. There's a lot of options here. Yeah, that's uh, that's more than likely going to be the uh, character I use, but with a different face. But either way, it also shows you the save path. So that's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, all in all, though, you can set a biography here if you feel like it. I don't think that's really going to have anything to do with the game. I think it's just more a flavor thing, because after all, Wasteland is um, generally, the, like I said, the grandfather, if you will, of things like Fallout and whatnot. So the people who do play it, of course, like them some role play. Some don't, some do. Either way, I'm not judging. Um, that pretty much covers it. Let's just click Accept here, and you'll get See, and then you can make three more. You can actually don't need to make three more. You can just start with one, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend it. Um, <laughs> you're probably going to die unless they just straight up give you them. But like I said, so that's uh, Wasteland 2, everybody. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm probably going to record some of it. Can't give you a guarantee on that. And even if I do record, there's no guarantee it'll be a full playthrough. But either way, this has been the character creation. Um, I hope this has been greatly beneficial to some people. If not, oh well. As always, I appreciate your views. And if you're curious about any other games or uh, you'd like to see a character creation covered that I haven't done or thought I have and forgot because I'm stupid, leave a comment below and or send me a whisper, or PM, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'll see you about it. I'll see what I can do. Um, Waste on 2, once again, just came out on the 19th of whatever fucking month it is. YouTubers, we don't have track of month. Uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. <clears throat>